Hi everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of Roast Them Gently. This week I'm excited to bring you a product that I think is great for everyone who has meetings and sometimes feels like they forget everything that's important from that one meeting that they had this morning because they already had three more meetings after it and they need a quick way to find the information that was in that first meeting that they forgot. But before we get to all of that, there's been a lot of sort of grumbling on the Twitter sphere from indie makers about how Product Hunt works, how it's become sort of a pay to play platform, and how it's hard to get featured uh, on the homepage quickly enough with their new launch. Uh, but a lot of people been complaining about this over the last couple weeks, months, even years, uh, as far as I can remember. But our friend Sandra, who is the co-host of the Morning Maker show with Dan, you can see there in the first comments, go check their, their show out. It's wonderful. If you want to keep up with the day-to-day -day happenings um, on Build in Public uh, on X, she says yesterday that there's some kind of good change happening on Product Hunt and she likes it. So uh, I know that the Product Hunt team is always improving the platform, sometimes adding features, sometimes taking them away. I'm sure that they're working on some way to keep us all there and keep us happily upvoting and launching things on the platform because uh, it, it is a promising community and it's longstanding and uh, the incentives do incentivize uh, getting the most upvotes possible by any means necessary but there are smart people working on figuring out who is sort of breaking their community rules and doing it in a nefarious way so long live product hunt the product that we're talking about today is woodpecker and it's launching uh, very soon on product hunt for the second time and the reason i wanted to talk about woodpecker is because one of the founders was in the first nano grit cohort last year in April when we ran the nano grit challenge. And I didn't get to talk to him uh, while the challenge was ongoing. I did get to interview uh, quite a few founders from it. If you check out our nano founder series, I believe it's called on YouTube, you'll see my interviews with those folks. Um, but there were about 30 people in the cohort, uh, and it only ran for four weeks. So everybody's busy launching and building and talking with customers. And I'm busy recording as many interviews as I can. I didn't get to talk to anybody from Woodpecker then, but I am happy that they have continued to work on the product and now they're launching on product hunt. So I was, uh, pleasant surprised to see this pop up on my Twitter feed from the founder and even more pleasantly surprised when I opened the website and saw the new redesign thought wow this looks great uh, let's give them a roast and give uh, them some feedback on the product and the website after all this time as my um, as my most recent guest on ship it and sip it said never stop never stop and these guys have been working on woodpecker for probably over a year now and they're back with me too so what is it in this show we'll talk about what woodpecker is give them a little bit of roast on the landing page and the website as well as who's behind it and then who it's for and we'll wrap up with a rating from one to 10, one being forget it exists and 10 being give these people your money right now. So let's dive into the product uh, hero section. Woodpecker is the new default for storing knowledge, which is a little bit vague. There are a lot of knowledge storage products and platforms out there from Notion to others to the tried and true Google workspace and, and you know spreadsheets where a lot of knowledge lives. Uh, but if we look at the pictures and we go through the subtitle here, we can see that Woodpecker is for storing knowledge that comes from meetings and calls and online uh, 
meetings and calls on Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. So let's dive in. You can try for free, which is the call to action. I'll get into that a little bit more later. We get a little bit of lovely animation here. And this is sort of a hint. There's not a lot of info here, but it's sort of a hint as to how Woodpecker categorizes information. And we'll get into that. So we've got 10,000 plus teams and pros supercharging their meeting notes. A lot of cool brands here. Okay. A lot of people are using it, which is good to see. Uh, all right. Below the fold, we get to more info about the value proposition here. Uh, we're drilling down to the pain point of fractured data. And we're also focusing, he's also focusing on uh, the different types of meetings and the way that the knowledge is structured in Woodpecker. So if you have a recurring meeting, um, a one-on-one -on -one or a team meeting every week, every day, all of that information stays together. If you have um, stand-ups for one project, they get put in that project file. If you have sales meetings about accounts or stuff like that, then they get organized that way, which is cool. That's how we work. Uh, that's how our information should be stored as well. We get all the way down to the third page before we realize that, oh my gosh, this woodpecker is built with AI. It's nice to see because I think in the latest hype cycle of AI products, AI gets put into the brand name, it gets put into the header, it gets put into the call to action, um, it gets put into the URL in most cases. But um, Woodpecker is focused on the product, not the super cool AI brain behind it. So more features. We have custom summaries from your meetings. If you've ever been in a long meeting, uh, left it, uh, immediately went into the next meeting, you probably forgot some uh, key points from the first one. So uh, Woodpecker helps you to retain that important information without retaining everything that was said in the whole hour-long conversation. You can also ask Woodpecker questions about the meeting. So if there are some details that you can remember, some facts and figures, uh, some reported uh, info about your latest campaign, you can uh, find that quickly with Woodpecker. All right, then we have integrations. Uh, everybody loves integrations. They're important to our modern workflows. So Woodpecker does that. That's good. And the last feature that I think is really smart uh, is in-person meeting recordings. You know, not all of our meetings are online. Some people are going back to the office. Some people have always been at the office. Anyway, uh, occasionally we do meet in person and discuss important things, and the information that we discuss there shouldn't be lost as well. So you can turn Woodpecker on, have it listen in on the meeting, and get the same summary and insights from that. Further down, we have uh, a blurb about security. That's important. Some social proof. And that takes us to the end of page one. Since the team has been working on Woodpecker quite a while, uh, they also have some cool resources. So let's head over to the blog. As someone that's worked on uh, several blogs for different teams, I always appreciate a well-organized and uh, structured blog and a blog that gives the audience uh, some useful information from the founders around the area that the product serves. So it's no surprise then that Woodpecker's blog has a lot of meeting tips, um, ways to run meetings better. If you're someone that has just moved into a role and you find yourself, you know, facilitating meetings and you want some more information about that, um, Woodpecker's blog is a good thing to check out. Another thing that I really like about the new site is they've given uh, a bunch of uh, meeting templates for people to use. Um, 
Freebies are a great way to uh, get people to enjoy your product and sign up for it. So meeting templates are just one of those super useful things. You can get them from a lot of places, but these ones look uh, pretty good. You can organize them by um, what sort of department you work in. And uh, yeah, grab one, use it in your next meeting. Bada boom, bada bing. And the other thing that I quite like about Woodpecker is the pricing. There's been a bit of a trend lately of moving away from the freemium model and there are good reasons not to have it. You can improve your recurring revenue. Uh, you get less churn. You don't have to answer support questions from free users, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but with the sheer amount of tools that launch every day on Product Hunt, it is nice to see a free tier and Woodpecker's free tier covers quite a bit. Um, in my case, um, I think I could use the free tier for quite some time simply because I don't have that many meetings. Um, so uh, you can use it for free for up to 10 meetings per month. Uh, it, does, it has transcriptions in 100 plus languages, which is cool. Um, the only Notable thing that uh, I think is missing from the free tier is Ask Woodpecker 2.0. I don't know if there is an Ask Woodpecker 1.0. It's not listed. Uh, so maybe you would lose out on that feature of asking for details uh, from Woodpecker's notes and summaries of meetings. Um, and definitely, if you have a lot more meetings, you would want to jump up to the plus tier. So that is Woodpecker in a nutshell. Let's jump back over to who is behind Woodpecker. And here we have, hi, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm glad to see you're still working on Woodpecker and launching it again. Uh, we can see from your X profile that you actually still have pinned the last launch of Woodpecker, which was May 23rd, where I believe you got fourth product of the day. And below that, we can see that uh, they have rescheduled the launch to March 14th. So if you are active on Product Hunt and want to support Hi and the team with their launch, uh, head on over to Product Hunt and find Woodpecker with a U and sign up for their next launch. So who is Woodpecker for? Obviously, the first uh, threshold that you need to meet is that you have some meetings online or in person on a regular basis uh, with, that you would like to retain more information from. And above that, the users, I think, fall into two buckets. The first bucket are folks that don't have very many meetings. You could have uh, two recurring meetings per week and sit on the free tier for quite some time with Woodpecker and uh, have access to the, the knowledge and information that you need from those meetings. The second bucket would be the meeting power users, if you will, folks that have a ton of meetings and need something like Woodpecker because they simply don't have the capacity, the time, the mental energy to remember all the important information uh, from all of those meetings that they have day to day. So Woodpecker's AI brain will help you to not lose that information, remember all the key facts and figures, and uh, make better decisions based on what is discussed in all of your meetings. So those are the two main user groups that I see for Woodpecker. From the examples and from how they structure their copy on the website, it's aimed at you know development teams, at sales teams, marketing teams, all those folks that uh, work in teams and have quite a few meetings as a result. I personally don't have a ton of meetings, so I'm going to try out Woodpecker on the free tier and uh, see how it goes, see if I like the product. Finally, let's give Woodpecker a rating. I think this definitely falls into, into the uh, seven to eight, definitely try it out zone for me especially because the free tier is so accessible and it covers what I would need uh, from the product so well. I think if I were someone who had a lot more meetings, I would be quick to 
try it and then probably quick to buy it if I like the way that it works and everything about the product itself. So good job on Woodpecker to Hi and the team. I think they uh, done a great job at refining the value proposition, uh, making it look uh, a little bit better, adding some fun animations to the website, and also adding those resources in the blog and the templates that I think are very useful to folks. All in all, they've prepared themselves uh, well for the relaunch of Woodpecker, and I look forward to uh, seeing them you know, reach uh, the next level once they launch again and get a whole bunch of feedback from those users. So that's all I have for today's roast. Uh, leave a comment down below if you think that Woodpecker is an awesome product that you would like to use, or if you have another super cool AI tool that already goes to your meetings for you and takes a bunch of notes and um, fulfills all the needs that Woodpecker covers. Uh, I'd love to find out about that as well. I'm sure that I would like to know about any uh, unknown competition that's out there, although I'm sure he has also done his research in that side of things. If you like the show, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share it with somebody on X or LinkedIn. And also, if you are a founder, if you're a builder, an indie hacker, building in public, whatever flavor of creator you are, if you have something launching in the near future and would like us to roast it gently uh, and give you some feedback on the idea, uh, you can write to me on X, write to me on LinkedIn, leave a comment on YouTube or Substack, or wherever you find this, go check out shipitsipit.xyz. I have a form there on the Roast, the Roast Them Gently page where you can submit products for roasting. Uh, but I do want to stick with the original idea of this show and roast products that are coming up very soon on Product Hunt for two reasons. Uh, the first is to give founders some feedback that they will be able to adjust either the messaging or the value proposition right before they launch. If I see something is amiss in my opinion. Uh, and the second reason is to just to put a little extra wind in their sails going into the launch, give them some extra publicity from our audience. And finally, of course, uh, most or all of these products are going to be things that I think are just useful and uh, valuable for our community of founders and makers to use. So give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing here. I will be greatly appreciative. All right, so ship it and sip it. Everybody will be back next week with another interview. And after that, another roast. Have a great weekend.